Welcome back to Prime Morning and it's time for News Flash. Make sure that you get interactive with us on all our social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. On Facebook, it is Joy Prime. Don't add the TV. Go into the comment section and you can send in your suggestions or you can hop onto our WhatsApp line. The number is 055-157-5757. 055-157-5757. We're about to talk on what the headlines are reporting this morning. And my guest is in the person of Kofi Ajay, data analyst with Joy and News. Good morning, Kofi. Good morning, Isidro. How are you? I'm doing well, like acting like Chalawati. Oh, I was yes. about to ask oh, yes. you something in relation to Chalawati. Please ask me. <laughs> <laughs> have you been there? Okay, have you been to Dosi Castle? Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. You've uh, been there. Yeah, so which, which, day, which day exactly did you go? Uh, not, well, you asked if I've been there before. Yeah, for Chalawati. No, 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 not, not yet. yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Probably okay. after the elections, I'll be there on Sunday. Oh, yes, yes. The super delegates, yes. yeah, elections yes, that'll be yes, happening yes. tomorrow of the new Patriotic Party. Well, almost all the newspapers are reporting. Mm -hmm. uh, we have almost um, quite a number of the delegates, um, no, not the delegates, but then um, those that are standing. The aspirants. Yeah, the yeah. aspirants, yeah. We have some of them talking and... They are in the newspapers. So we'll find out. So you have to find us. Kofi, so let's start with the finder. Or do you want to go first? Which well, newspaper do you want to um, go with first? Let me go first with the Daily Guide. Okay. It says on the front page, it says, Ashanti mm -hmm. Constituency Chairman Root for Baumia. It says, Delegate <laughs> Bad from Displaying Cast Ballot. Those are some of the rules okay. in the, yes. the, you know, the upcoming Super Delegate mm. Conference. And then it says that Celebrate Addison for Saving Ghana's Economy. Can you imagine? Uh, someone is saying we should celebrate uh, Addison for saving Ghana's economy. It says two Nigerians caged uh, for trafficking 11 victims. And we oh, also have... Oh, I actually saw that. Video. Did you see that? Um, um, yes, yes, media. I did. You saw I, did that. I did. I think Joy News reported yes, we on did. that. Yeah. I saw yeah. it was it very was, disheartening. It was a very fantastic report by Carlos Very Stanoni. fantastic. Yeah, very detailed report. Yes. At a point, it felt like, you know, it was, it was another country. I, yes. di I didn't really used to see such things in yeah, Ghana where yeah. you have someone calling for help mm -hmm. and then caged and mm -hmm. all of that. So mm -hmm. at the end, we, we are seeing that 11 victims were actually um, trafficked by some, you know, Nigerians. So but you know, what, 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 what I learned from this is we need to be very vigilant. We need to be yeah. very... Um, you know, we need to be each other's keeper. Each other's keeper. Because imagine the woman wasn't actually watching what would have happened. Exactly. Would have if she hadn't paid police. attention, yeah, yeah. you know, like just seeing somebody waving you and then you know doing signs, mm -hmm. trying to make signs to communicate something to you. There's something you know, really you know, wrong. there's something about women, right? That our intuition, majority of the times, it speaks to us. So yeah. when we start thinking that no, there's something probably wrong, then indeed there, there is, is something, something wrong. wrong. So your your we say women, your emotions are actually directly proportional <laughs> to what is really going to happen. So you are able to predict. I'm sure the man would have seen it and just close over it and say, Oh, maybe it's just one yeah. of those things happened. But yeah. the woman was very, yeah. very curious. She was very. Like, What's really going on? Yeah. And she got her husband to also you know, gets involved in the whole thing. So it's yeah. good news that they yeah. actually kudos to both of them. Rescued. Yeah. Kudos and we say them. there's also Maslock closes uh, Boko office over safety issues. Uh, baby rescued from Achimota Forest, page six. And that's also an interesting yes. story. I saw uh, that video. I, I saw that as well. And I was thinking that what would make a mother mm -hmm. decide to dump her baby in somewhere? Fact in a polythene bag. In a polythene bag. You can tell that probably a teenage mother, mm -hmm. if not a teenage mother, Somebody, a woman whom has, who has nothing, who has nobody to turn to. <sighs> it's, it's this is very disheartening. I mean, but then I, I hope that I, I'm glad that the baby is fine. Yeah. The baby is in good health. So that's a good thing. Well, so that's it from the Daily Guide. Uh, Do we have any other stories in there? In, um, in, okay, 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 okay. Let me go to the back page. And this one, I'm sure it will interest. Exactly. Yes, me, yes, me yes, everybody yes, yes, knows yes, that yes. when it comes to sports, <laughs> I'm terrible with sports. Let me ask a very simple. Which <laughs> please, do you support? Please, you don't support please, any coffee. team? 
Because we don't make me disgrace myself this morning. I'm in a very good mood. Okay. The Shalawate Festival. Oh, but I'm sure you know Kudus, right? In oh, Muhammad. yes, Mohammed Kudus. Exactly. Yeah. He's okay, making so he's, a move. Okay. It's all about Kudus. Mm. Kudus is the man of the moment. Mm -hmm. He says, West Ham, uh, you know, Kudus capture. Are they really going to seal the deal today to get Kudus to come to the English Premier League? You know, yesterday he scored hat-trick. Yes. yes. Yes, and West Ham, they've been chasing him. They've had a number of bids rejected. But it looks as if this current bid will be it accepted. It would work by, then by Ajax? Yes, 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 yes. And they would let him go? They would let him go because per Kudus, his interview yesterday, he uh -huh. made it clear that this could be his last game for Ajax. Oh. And we are expecting him in the English Premier League. Other people are saying, you know, why West Ham? You should go to Brighton. Because, yeah. I mean, West Ham, people are not really seeing a certain kind of play. They play defensive. We will not really see. I mean, maybe Kudus. he joining would give it a different light. Would yes, give yes, the yes, team yes, yes. a different I light. I was actually speaking with, um, you know, Raz Razak Muzba, who made a very fantastic analysis yesterday that West Ham, there's this declarized you know, profile where they were able to groom a player and mm. sell for over 100 million pounds. So, you know, other players also believe that, I mean, West Ham, they have that profile. Yeah. If I come there and I'm able to build that capacity, oh, I'm, I'll, be, I'll be sold at, a, mm -hmm. you know, um, a reasonable mm -hmm. price. Mm -hmm. But Brighton are very difficult in terms of negotiation. So, no... You know, oh, okay. Player okay. wants to go there. Okay. But what they did to us with the Caicedo deal, I don't like them. So GRA cracks uh, the page. GRA mm. cracks whip on uh, bat defaulters. Um, they are very very active on this because they have, you know, a revenue target to meet. So I think that'll be all for daily guide. I mean, what, one thing one, one thing I know, Kofi is very good with the numbers. He's very good with the figures. In so the <laughs> stories that are reporting all the figures, Kofi is here to explain everything to you into details for you to really, really understand in case you've been, you know, quite confused. And now Kofi Mibwa, you will explain to everybody. I can't wait. Okay, so let's go to the next newspaper. Uh, the next one is The Finder. The Finder on the front page, we have Yoko recovers 138.9 million Ghana cities in 18 months. And that is COP Adodankwa. And then we have Republic Bank Ghana to offer pension-backed mortgages to Petra Trust clients. Next, we have Show Me Love on Saturday. <laughs> this is from Dr. Owusu Efiye Akuto. Dark horse. <laughs> in fact, he's actually the dark horse in this race. Is he? Yes. Okay. He's referred to as the dark horse. The dark horse. horse. Yeah. Mm. Okay, uh, this is what he has to say to delegates. We have the banner headline of the finder being Baumia Trumpet Sacrifices Records. And then, and he also plans to reward the grassroots when elected a VP. What, what would the reward be? I'm wondering what the reward would be. He's, he said he plans to reward the grassroots with, when elected. Well, it could be in the form of employment, mm. in the form of opportunities, mm. whatever it is, it's a promise. Then, it's, it's, <laughs> then it, it looks promising, so let's mm. see what happens tomorrow. So all the 961 delegates will be super delegates. Super delegates. Yes. In fact, super this will be the, the first stage of the, the selection. Okay. They have to whittle down the whole thing from 10 to, to 5. To five. Yes. We made the d decision in 2007 when they learned their lesson about more than <laughs> 11 people were yes. on the ballot yes. and it made it very difficult for very them difficult. and it made a decision that you know if it, ha it happens that we have more than uh, five candidates or mm. five aspirants mm. then we need to beat it down to five from the super delegate to the main delegate right so right after this tomorrow we'll have the main one november that's where we see who will have the Drum rolls exactly, will soon be exactly, rolling. Exactly. We have Access Bank builds capacity of 300 children in STEM. That is really great. And then Dr. Omani Buama, in NDC's Director of Elections and I. T. Let's see if we have. Okay, so uh, somewhere on page six, we have leaked tape on IGP. Committee's first day suffers jolt. I want to read a little bit about this mm -hmm. one. Mr. Samuel Atachia. 
chairman of the seven-member bipartisan committee probing into a secret recording, has urged people appearing before the committee to cooperate with them. He said, so we do not want people who appear before this committee subsequently to be using excuses to delay our work. Cooperate with us. Ms. Atachia said during the committee's maiden public hearing at Parliament House on Thursday. Mr. Alban Sumana Kingsford Bagbin, the Speaker of Parliament, constituted a seven member bipartisan committee to probe into a secret recording, a secret recording of an alleged plot to remove Dr. George Ekufo Dampare, Inspector General of Police, from office ahead of the 2024 general election. The committee has up to September 10 to report back to the House. Nonetheless, the maiden hearing was adjourned to Monday, August 28, 2023, for Mr. Bugri Nabu, the former Northern Regional Chairperson of the New Patriotic Party and the first witness to appear in person. So I think the first hearing, um, maybe they couldn't appear in person, and that is yeah. the reason that Mr. Atachia is calling for all those who be appearing before the committee to cooperate with them. He doesn't want usual excuses. Excuses, sick, exactly, this, exactly, I mean. exactly. But this matter really needs to be probed. Okay, so um, that's it for the Finder newspaper. I have the Chronicle, and it's just like you read. It says, Dr. Akuto says, show me love. Mm. The dark horse says, <laughs> show him love tomorrow show him love and we have the picture of um you know alan tremantin dr uh, dr kwabina ejipon and then also dr usu ifri akuto and then who makes it who makes it to the five tomorrow a uk ratings agency puts baumia ahead alan akuto and um a japon follow in to uh, in tow he says um Baptist Church members holding positions are not corrupt, GBC Press. And it says automation of supply distribution of premix fuel. This is good news. If we are able to do this, it will really help with all the corruption and other supply mm -hmm. restrictions. But the stage is almost set for tomorrow. And we are asking a very simple question. Who will make it to the, the, top, the top five? five? Remember, I think 2014... Five people made it, but two decided to drop out. Yes. I think Joe Gatti, and then there was another person. And per the trend that we've seen, what we've seen is that when they started introducing this super delegate, any candidate or aspirant who has, you know, is able to um, have majority of the votes in the super delegate goes ahead to win the main delegate conference. It happened between Alan. And Akufado yeah. was able to get yeah. more than 70% yeah. in the super delegate. The main delegate, he passed over 80%. Mm. Alan then drops from, I think, somewhere around 19 to, was it 9.7% 9 to somewhere around very low. It was very, very low for Alan in the main delegate conference. So they are hoping that we'll have a very tight race, but almost all the polls are saying that Dr. Mahmoud Baumia will clock more than 70%. I mean, um, there, the was, there, was, there was a member of uh, the campaign team, mm -hmm. um, Honorable Fasini, he was here yesterday um, during before Prime Morning, mm. and um, he sat with Rosalind, and they had a conversation, and you can tell that they are highly positive, yeah. highly, highly positive about uh, the polls going in favor of Vice President Mahmoud Baumia. But, you know, hmm. At the end of the day, it all lies in the hands. Of Absolutely. The so let's see what happens tomorrow. I, I want to read the story. It says, yeah. GRE arrests more business owners for tax evasion. It says, the Ghana Revenue Authority has arrested more business owners in a crowd for tax evasion. The latest of these companies arrested by the GRE are uh, Dole Company Limited, Aquascape, uh, 69 Bridge Enterprise, Aqua Professionals, and Roy's collections, they are arrested. They were arrested yesterday by the GRE Accra Central Area Enforcement Team at East Ligon mm -hmm. yesterday, mm. East Ligon. Mm. So we are hoping that if you have a shop or you have a business in East Ligon. Yeah, yeah I mean, tax. if GRE mm. hadn't made any prior announcements mm. 
to the public then probably it would have been alarming yeah. it would have been alarming that why would you just bump into them and then decide to do this but gra has been reiterating this and information people yes for over a number of you exactly know, months now that, you know what just get onto the system and do what is right get onto the system and do provided you own a business you need to get onto the system and make sure that you're paying the taxes that you're supposed to pay you can't be running a business for free now you can't well we have the money do we we have the money we have the money we have the money Kofi, but we're asking Kofi whose pocket the... is the money in <laughs> okay okay so that's, that's yes, where the yes, question yes, lies yes, yes, yes. whose pockets we have the money yes but it's whose pockets whose pocket is it in is it in that's that's the question yes but yeah <laughs> they have the mandates you know they've, they've been doing well i think for the past four or five fiscal years they've always been able to to hit their target mm. this year they have another charge to raise more than uh, I think 140 billion or 120 okay. billion Ghana CDs. That's almost 12 billion dollars. So they have a very huge tax, and mm. if you really cross their way, I'm not sure they will forgive they you. Will, no. Please comply. <laughs> I want to read a story. The Akoto who is saying, please show me love. I want to read a story. Of In fact, I think all the newspapers are reporting yes, yes, this yes, morning. Yes, yes, so, it says, yes. A uh, flag bearer hopeful of the new patriotic party, Dr. Ousu Efriyakoto, has appealed to the 961 superdelegates of the party to have faith in him by voting massively for him to be among the five candidates that will be shortlisted for the November 4th showdown. In his message to the superdelegates ahead of Saturday, which is tomorrow, uh, Dr. Akoto said, now is the time for the king makers of the party to show him some love after doing so much to the progress of the party he reminded them of his vision for the party and the country and noted that he has um the he actually said that vision for the country and then noted that he has the uh, the power to actually revive the up tradition and then also it goes on and on to say, you know, they, they're saying that, oh, what is Dr. Akuto's message? Mm. People are saying, we are not really hearing mm. anything. Mm. But his campaign team, they, they, they've been very clear that there is no noise because he has a message. I mean, he's not just saying anything, but the Dark Horse really has a message. And he's asking the delegate to show him love mm. tomorrow i mean i feel that at the end of the day what the super delegates need to look at is the fact that in the little uh uh portions or parts of government that all these individuals mm. were placed in whatever contribution they did whatever little thing they did mm. in their own small small ways yes. to progress not just the party but you know beyond the party as well they need to look at that that okay you were given small but this is what you were able to do not just because maybe somebody can be giving you money here mm -hmm. and there somebody can be giving you electronic uh, electric gadgets here and there just to try to buy their way into Votes. your mm -hmm. your your hearts or something like that but you should look at when you know they were in their positions the various positions that they were in you're serving you serving not just the party but the country as a whole what were some of the contributions that they did to progress us this so you look at that mm. instead so you're asking them to look at results yes. and not just you know and not just you know uh, because we, this we are hoping the resources we, we are, yes this person has the resource, so I think that if he's to come to, into power, because I know that all these aspirants, mm. all of them, in their little way, have contributed something to the country. Yes, and to the party as and well. And to the party as well. So you need to look at that and do what is right. Well, just do that. Yeah, just do that. I mean, look at who has the message. I'm sure people have already made their decisions based on certain policies or based on certain facts. You know, Ghanaians at this point, at this point, uh, I feel that a whole lot of Ghanaians don't really have faith in what you're saying you would do. Because yeah. we've been there. We've lost hope. And we've lost hope. 
We've lost Ghanians, hope. Uh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Ghanaians are saying that they've lost hope. We've heard these things before. And that is the reason I'm saying that. Let's look at, they should rather look at what they've been able to do in their smallest con in their small corners. So so it means you have to look at what um, Dr. Efri Yakoto did in the agri sector. Thank you. Look at what Alan Chermantin did in the industry, exactly. trade industry sector. Exactly. Baumia is the... Um, the head of the economic, the economy. economic team, look at what yes. he's done. You know, Kennedy, a Japan, he's yes. been in the party, he's been there since 2001 mm -hmm. in parliament. Mm -hmm. Look at what he's also done. Mm -hmm. Um, Adai Nimo, this will be his second time. Look at what he's <laughs> done. Um, Apreku, mm -hmm. I think this will be his third or fourth. Okay, look at what he's also done, exactly. And Joe Gatti, look at what Joe Gatti has also done. It's as simple as and that, and then, um, you know. Uh, Former energy minister, look at what he's also doing. It's done. very simple. Yes. yes Let's yes, just yes, look yes, at yes, that yes, because yes. now it's not about when you come into power or when I become the flag bearer, this and this is what I would do. Have you watched the recent interviews of Honorable Kennedy and John Paul? Yes, I did. Have you chanced on them? Yes. Yes. Okay, so viewers, so I'm throwing this to you um, in case you've chanced on any of the interviews of Honorable Kennedy in Japan um, on what he would do for the country if he's to become uh, president. You can share that, you just share your thoughts. With us on our social media platforms. In, in fact, let's let's look at um, the ballot position again. Okay. So, Kennedy Japan is first on the ballot, followed by number Alan Germantin. Mm -hmm. There's Joe Gatti, number three. Mm. Uh, Kojo Poku, number four. Mm -hmm. Doctor Efri Akuto, number five. Kobna Aj Ejipon, number six. Honorable Adai Nimo, number seven. Kofi Kunedu Apreku, he's been there. Number eight, uh, Boache Ejako, number nine, and Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, number ten. Yes, <laughs> number ten. Number ten on the ballot, and Asiaho. Asiaho. Yes, so please. <laughs> number ten on the ballot. Tomorrow will be sweet. I can't wait. Absolutely. It will and be so sweet. In, in fact, we will be doing a full coverage on Joy. Yes. Okay. And let me use this opportunity to talk about sure. it as well. We'll give you real time data. We'll analyze Winston and Evans will be in the studios as usual. We'll give it 360 coverage. Mm. MFR Pau and the team Winston Amwa, Elton Brobe will all be on the ground uh, to give you that, you know, fantastic coverage. Samuel Mbura will also be there. And so, yeah, I, I know you don't really, really like football, but I want <laughs> to put this across. The back page of the Chronicle. Yes, all we want is Kai Sedo. Now we have him. And his his debut didn't really go as expected. He Ooh. conceded the penalty. He got frustrated. But at the, at the end of it all, after the match, he knelt down and prayed. Okay. Yes, he prayed. Okay. And tonight, he will have another chance against Luton Town. We yeah. say, Luton Town, please, please, be good. And uh, Chelsea, seven, at least seven goals tonight. Seven goals tonight. So, yes, uh, that's the chronicle for you. Crusading. Okay, so let's move to the next newspaper, and that is the New Weekend Crusading Guide. New Weekend Crusading Guide. On the front page, we have Finance Ministry partly responsible for BOG's mess. This is from Seth Tekpe. We have Grassroots say we should vote for Baumi Ashanti, MPP Chairman. Then we have Show Me Love on Saturday, Efi Yakuto's last appeal to the 961 superdelegates of NPP. Wait, you said something about the Bank of Ghana. Yes, Finance Ministry partly responsible for BOG's mess. Oh, this and is we, what set, Daily set, Guy will also say. have celebrate Addison, who is the oh, governor it's actually of the, here as well. the Bank of Ghana for saving the economy. Yes, and so Kwamina Duncan says, let's applaud Bank of Ghana governor and deputies applauding for doing what Applo so <laughs> let me read <laughs> let me read <laughs> let me read what's oh yeah so Please the former read. central region minister kwamina kwamina duncan has come to the defense of the governor and deputies of the bank of ghana in the wake of a reported 60 billion ghana cd loss in 2022 in a recent appearance on on peace of them um, Mr. Duncan lauded the central bank's management record and highlighted that the global economic challenges had contributed to the unusual loss. <laughs> the usual um, script. Okay. 
<laughs> you will recall that many people doubted if the economy was in crisis because they did not hear that interest payment on bonds were not being paid in early 2022. They did not see queues at the pumps for petrol and diesel. Yeah, there to were no... or something like that, right? <laughs> Exactly. I was trying to recall. That's why I, kept, I got quiet for a but, while. But we can also recall that there was a time that fuel prices were always on the rise. Always. Almost, almost every yes. two or three days, you will get news New, that yes. there's been um, a hike in fuel prices. Well, let me consume what he says. He says, you will recall that many people doubt said, okay, read that. They did not see queues at the pumps for petrol and diesel. They were, there were no shortages for essential items on the market. And they did not hear that public sector workers, including civil servants, the police and the military, were not being paid their salaries. The reason was that the Bank of Ghana had provided the needed support to keep the economy going. He noted that prior to 2022, the Bank of Ghana had consistently registered profits however the positive streak was disrupted by the impact of global economic conditions that affected yes and russia that, ukraine and russia and ukraine war exactly that affected not only ghana but also economies are across the world and this is one part that the opposition are always trying to fight that okay is it only ghana that went through this there are other african countries that mm -hmm. also went through the crisis In fact, but they are bouncing back the economy is bouncing back yes so why are we still riding on russian ukraine war and the COVID crisis in fact ghana is probably among the few countries that got over seven billion dollars Mm. For COVID-19 mm -hmm. support. Mm -hmm. How much are we even mm -hmm. asking the mm -hmm. IMF to give us now? Three billion. Three. So we couldn't solve the COVID-19 problem with seven billion dollars. Mm -hmm. Remember the Bank of Ghana that we're talking about, yes, they did some saving, you know, job. They did a very fantastic yes. job. Came to the rescue of governments and said, Governments, you are in trouble. I'm giving you ten billion, you know, Ghana, Ghana cities. cities yeah. Around that time it was around one point seven billion dollars. Okay. There was World Bank that came to give us huge money. IMF, Korea, Germany. I think a lot. We had monies from all of these sources to tackle one problem. And what happened COVID-19. That's, that's, that's a question we are, we and that's, are all asking. that's the question that Ghanaians are asking. Because if, if, what if you, to you the get monies? $7 billion and you're not able to use it to solve the problem, you come back to Ghanaians and impose COVID-19 levy tax yes. levy. Yeah. And at this point, um, glo the World Health Organization is saying COVID is no longer, you know, a global health emergency or whatever. Why are we still paying the 1% COVID-19 levy? Okay. Very interesting. Please, I hope that your comments are coming in um, in relation to all the stories that are being reported in the newspapers. You can tell us what you think about what um, all the headlines are. And I'll definitely read them on air. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, then we have uh, Nana Brefi Koto joins Kente Kotru the second to promote culture and business and then let's applaud BOG governor and deputies Gomwa Nyanyano chiefs kick against a state developer of impending demolition and then we have we will nominate new candidate for Pepiasi stool let's see if we have some more news okay Ukraine claims Crimea London for special operation on Independence Day uh, this is going to be it's going to cause a stir a lot of, you know, yeah. it's with this thought, a whole lot of stuff. You yeah. know, Ukraine finally going to London, mm -hmm. Crimea. Mm -hmm. uh, you mm -hmm. know, not just, not just the London, but also the, I think next year's BRICS uh, meeting will be held in Russia. Okay. So imagine that all, you know, South Africa and all the other leaders who have now decided to join the BRICS will now be moving to Russia. Uh, yeah, well, there's some questions to ask anyway. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, let's take some entertainment. We have Meet the Guardian Artists 
with the potential to fail iconic O2 Arena. This is a conversation that has been going on for quite a while mm -hmm. and that people are saying that, Ooh, oh, feel. you know, you have Nigerian artists who are failing the O2 Arena. Which Ghanaian artist can single-handedly... Patapa can but do it. Ah, yes, of course. Patapa can fill the O2 Arena. The Obert do a one corner, one corner. That song was a hit. Oh. In fact, if he, if they had invited him around that time, I'm sure he would have filled the arena. Trust me. <laughs> or you don't believe it. I am talking about something serious here. And you are. I mean, not bad. That uh, it wouldn't be bad. So apart from uh, Patapa, who else? Who else do you think can fill the O2 Patapa arena? Patapa can do it. So, um, um, well, director, me, di think our too. director is saying, "Hey, why for you?" Yes. Yeah. yeah I'm a ghost man. Yes. I'm a ghost. I'm a ghost man. Or you he want can the, fill the O2 arena? Or you want the usual suspects to fill it? <laughs> I mean, you know, well, when, start talking about so it in the newspaper, talk. I'm seeing, so the pictures I'm seeing, I've mm. not read the names that have been written in there yet. The pictures I'm seeing, I, I can see Black Sharif first, Sako Hey, one moment here. I can see somebody's <laughs> forehead. Oh, it's a Machi Dede. Oh, no, 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 like, I don't, let me help you see what I'm talking about, right? Oh, here. yes, 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 yes. You yes. see, that's a Machi Dede's forehead, right? Iron boy. I don't think so. That's that's not his forehead. I wonder who is in the bucket's cap. Okay, that's that's how much he did. That's how much he did, right? Yeah, but the bucket cap, I don't know who this is. But let's let's read um the names that have been mentioned. Oh, on we here. don't have Kim Promise there. Uh, we should have, and yes, sir. As some member, mm. uh, new weekend crusading guide. <clears throat> okay, so we have um we have Shatawale. Obviously, we have Stone Boy, and we have Black Sharif, we have um, Kim Promise, yes, and then we have Sarkodie, and lastly, Amachi Dede. So these are the six names uh, that is being reported. There's no Daddy Lumba. No Daddy Lumba. No. Could Daddy Lumba fill the Ota Arena? Could he? If Amachi Dede can, then Daddy Lumba should be, should be able to. You know, that. one thing that I I thought of is when in London. Mm -hmm. Nigerians are there. A lot of Nigerians are in the UK. And if you hear that, oh, Ashake is coming to London, he's coming to the O2 the Arena. The euphoria alone. The euphoria alone. They are able to infest other people Aha. and say, oh, blah, blah, blah. This. Exactly. But, okay, we have quite a number of Ghanaians in, in the UK. Mm. And my problem is over there, the, the DJs and you know what it's like it is now that they are beginning to play certain kind of Nigerian songs mm -hmm. I mean Ghanaian songs mm. in nightclubs in uh, parties and all that and that is the reason that there was also a conversation of some Ghanaian artists beginning to sound like, like Nigerian artists but I've always so it's like if you don't go on that trend you cannot go beyond the borders of Ghana well, at, at this point, do you think it's still relevant to push that Ghana Nigeria agenda? Like everybody should push down. Shouldn't we ride on the benefits of you know Afrobeats? Because it looks as if Afrobeats Nigerians, is Nigerians, it have looks dominated like the they Afrobeats are, they, space. They want to solely own Afrobeats. Have you watched the documentary on Netflix? No, I haven't. Afrobeats. You should watch it. You should watch it. Yes, Ghanaians contributed to some extent to mm -hmm. Afrobeats being Afrobeats. I mean, Afrobeats without the S, Felakuti mentioned, uh, you know, that he got inspiration. He got inspiration mm. for the sound uh, from Ghanaian High Life. And so you have um, Ghanaian High Life being mentioned as part of what... Oh, part of the foundation. Exactly, the foundation. But then it is not as strong... It was like, yeah, it's not why we've sat there and the Nigerians have taken over. Yeah, of course. And they've created a documentary. I, I, I was reading this Spotify report, I think, mm. 2021. Okay. And I saw Nigeria in a year were able to produce over 1,000 new artists. If you okay, count the nice. number of artists in Ghana, are they even <laughs> musicians? They were able to produce new entrants, so 1,000. But you see someone like Ashake, mm -hmm. 
Ashake has been releasing songs. There was a day I was, I was, I was, I was just listening to one of his songs, Yoga. Mm-hmm. I was listening to Yoga and I was like, this guy has been releasing songs back to back, back to back. Ashake only came into the limelight in 2020 during COVID. That's and he actually less than sh- three years. He, exactly, less than three years, and. He's all over. He has been releasing songs. Uh, but one issue is, what is the probability that every song that you release is going to be a hit? What really goes into... So, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. What really goes into the making... Production. A, the production. of a hit song. What if you produce, you bring out a hit song, the next one you bring out as a hit. But a Shaquette song, every single one of them. It's a hit. It's a hit. It's a hit, man. What goes into it? Well, I think that Ghanaian artists really need to find that out and then incorporate they that will, into they their work. They will do that. They, they really need that. to. And so that is what uh, the new crusading, the new weekend crusading guide reported this morning. Kofi, we have to go. So briefly, yeah, the yeah, final yeah. issue part, just the uh, public press it says, yeah. you know, MPP sets rules for the Congress. One of the rules is that you cannot show your ballots you know mm-hmm. who you voted mm-hmm. for there mm-hmm. are other rules also in mm-hmm. there we have the picture of the chairman in team it says boosting food security government to launch planting for food and job phase two yeah so phase two will be launched and government is spending close to 70 million dollars every year on the planting for food and jobs we are hoping that this will translate into bringing inflation down which is now mm-hmm above 50 yes. percent and you know yes. people are losing their yes. purchasing power yes. so we are hoping that the phase two with the new face the new um our great minister will, will will actually help you know tackle some of these uh, um, you know indicators like inflation and other things so we are hoping that pfj phase two will be excessive yeah we are very hopeful ghana will be better it would we'll definitely be better. Be better. Yes. Yes, yes, it would definitely be better. So these are what uh, um, some of the newspapers have reported this morning. And I hope that you are getting interactive with us on all our social media platforms.